Welcome back. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, we got my co pilots with me. Tonight, we are watching the winner of our most recent poll, Birdcage One. What I know about Birdcage is it's a comedy. Robin Williams starring in it. They told me the other dude that's in it, but it's Helen Hunt's ex husband. I know Blank. And our homeboy Mark loved this movie. Like, if don't nobody else watch this, I know those two are watching this. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm excited to get into it because, but I watched two back to back sad movies, and I need a little comedy in my life right now. So that being said, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Gonna really help the channel out. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Also, don't forget to check out the Patreon. Over there, you get early access to all my full-length videos on YouTube. Also, you get a say-so when I watch on Fridays. Like, we get a phone post like this. With that being said, I'm ready to get into this. So, i see you on the other side. Let's get it. Oh, Birdcage is a club? Oh, the Birdcage. It's called the Birdcage. Shut up, this ain't a gay bar. Ecuador, where is Starina? She goes on in five minutes. Shut the fuck up. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gay, but I've been to a couple gay clubs. They be turned up. They be having fun. Robin Williams. With Starina. I uh, just talked to Agador. He said she'd be down in five. The key to the plot. Zero. Starina won't go on. She's still in her role. Oh. Damn. And I please, I don't know what happened this time. Hey man, why he got the bad guy shirt from um Commando? Honey, please. You gotta get dressed for me now, please. No, Agador. Okay, but how about just the stockings, okay? Victoria Page is dead. Okay, but watch how nice I'm gonna put it for you. No. <sighs> Darling, have you eaten? You look haggard. Study, uh, please. That's all over now. <laughs> oh, okay. He's got scrap through his head. Like, I, I know the little fish that thing, but what's the... Help it! Hey, no, hey, no, 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 come on, get out, open it, Albert, open it, come on, go away, no, I don't want them to see me, I'm hideous, Albert, are you trying to ruin me, don't look at me, I'm hideous, hideous, I know, honey, it's gonna pass, no, it'll never pass, drama queen much, don't use that tone to me, what tone? That sarcastic, contemptuous tone that means you know everything because you're a man and I know nothing because I'm a woman. You're not a woman. Oh. Uh, I do everybody take it easy. So, I'm going to go ahead and say this now. If I say the wrong terminology, please don't attack me. Hagador, I need some Pirin tablets quickly. What are you taking? Okay. Nothing. But just one, okay? One before the show and one for after. No yes. more, so don't ask me. Please give me a moment to myself to prepare. Okay, let's leave her. Come on. Why are you giving him drugs? What the hell are Pirin tablets? He's aspirin with the A and the S scraped off. My God, what a brilliant idea. I know. You're shaving your chest now? I didn't have time to wax. Listen, I shaved my chest one time. When that shit grow back, it, it's so bad it burns. Like, it's, it feels crazy. I'll never do it again. You don't love me anymore, Armand. <laughs> shit. There's a man in your life. What? I sense it. I saw a bottle of white wine chilling in the refrigerator. Oh! There's no man. Oh, you done got caught up in some 
Rose Red has tannins. Tannins? What do you do while I'm on stage? Nothing, I lie here. Where do you go while I'm killing myself on stage? Hit me. Go on. Go on. Hit me. Ah! so dramatic. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Starina. Starina. The boy's a jerk. You better work it, girl. You better work it. Is he in a robe like you like you have? What did you think? I think you look like Lucy's stunt double. I'm a combination of Lucy and Ricky. And it's terrifying. What is that? Why did you talk to me like I'm just serving? Because you are a faithful houseman. When are you gonna let me audition for you again? When you have talent. Now take that wig off or I'll tell Albert you're wearing it. You do that, I'm gonna tell him that you've seen somebody else while he's on the stage. I have two words for you. Green card. Oh. Now go. I'm just saying, how, how long is he on stage? <laughs> because, I mean, how long was it set? Hey. Hey. Oh. I'm telling. So I have something to tell you. Yes. But I don't want you to get how you get. Are you breaking out with him? I'm getting married. Oh. <laughs> it's a girl. I met her at school. It's this wonderful. Uh, what, what are you? Are you upset? But let me tell you why. First of all, you're only twenty. Look, Pop. I know. Oh, that's Daddy. Okay, okay, okay. This is too crazy. You do this. You're on your own. You got that sport? You don't come back here. You don't ask me for anything, okay? okay. Damn, because he get married? Goodbye, Pop. Goodbye, son. Come here. <laughs> you little pisser, you called my bluff. Uh, no, it was good, though. Really? Bad. I think I backed off on a little bit. <laughs> Tell me it's all right. Hey, you fooled me. I ain't gonna lie. It's all right. I see my do that shit. I always dreamed you'd do this. It's just not so soon. Hey, because the gay is because they have a Maybe by a black dude, but it still works. What's the young lady's name? Barbara. Are you crazy? It's out of the question. You can't get married. You're not even 18. How old is she? Look, this will have to wait till after the election. I can't deal with this now. Where does the young man come from, Barbie? Ra. Who is his father? <laughs> He's a cultural attache to Greece. Really? Oh, do they like me? <laughs> Did these two families meet? This is gonna be wonderful. I just told them. Yeah, me too. And uh... Is that Ally McBeal? Who is that? Well, here's to your future. Shit! No, dear, that was not my toast. I just broke my glass. I'm sorry. And we'll talk again soon. Bye. How dare you listen in on my conversation? You said his parents were in Greece. They are. You saw this boy at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and now he's in Greece with his parents? No. I... Three-way calling. Three-way calling. They're, they're at their vacation house in South Beach. Oh, is that like Palm Beach? It's close. It's about two minutes from Fisher Island where Jeb Bush lives. Really? Okay, so they are in Miami. Okay, so that one, I feel better than what I thought earlier. But he's in Jersey. I'm from... Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Who is he? Where's your little chippy? Stop screaming. It's Val. Val? Go check. He's sleeping in his room if you don't believe me. Why didn't you tell me? Surprise. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of wish he was cheating. Just so I can see what he would have done. Mmm. Mmm. A triumph. Well, bye bye. Bye. Perhaps one more schneckin for the road. Do you mind? When the schneckin beckons. That'd be the funniest thing in this movie. So why don't you tell me you think bad last night, you bad man? I would not have been so sassy to you. You put some clothes on. And man, why don't you let me be in the show? Come on, aren't you afraid of my watermelon-ness? Your what? A what? 
My watermelon, it's my natural heat. You're afraid I'm too primitive, right, to be on the stage. Oh, yes, you're right. I'm afraid of your heat. Is that a bike he's sitting on? You look awful. What's wrong? I was getting married. Don't be silly. I got a pork roast for dinner. What? <laughs> I wanted to get filet mignons. Why did he just blow it off like whatever? Married? What do you mean married? You know what I mean. Some girl he met at school. Oh, no. Uh, but <gasps> now all of a sudden I feel <gasps> so funny. Just breathe. <gasps> Let it go. <gasps> breathe. Oh, you've heard. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I promised your father. Mm -mm. But you're only 20, and if you throw yourself away on some dormitory slut, you'll be sorry for the rest of your life. There. He just caught her a slut off rip. The Coalition for Moral Order, this it was to express moral rather than political. Makes sense. Your campaign manager is calling. He says he's got to talk to you. Oh, this is going to be wonderful when they meet up. Hello, Ben. Ready for what? What? What's the matter, Kevin? Jackson's dead. He died in bed. Whose bed? A prostitute? No. A minor? And black? What? I don't believe this. I don't fucking believe this. I'm ruined. No. Why that last part important? I'm the vice president of the Coalition for Moral Order. My co-founder has just died in the bed of an underage black whore. <laughs> I could really use some candy. It can't happen to a better person. So. A man got caught in bed with an underage prostitute. Mom, I, I have something to tell you about Val's parents. Oh. Oh, oh, please tell her. Please. I've seen these conversations happen. There may be a solution. What? Death? Didn't work for Jackson. What about a wedding? A big white wedding? What do you mean? No, no. Why not? Yes, the wedding would be perfect. It would restore your yeah. image. Yeah. I mean, the son of a, a cultural attaché, a, a sort of a diplomat, really, who doesn't look down on us. A husband with two daddies. That's going to go well. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Love and optimism. He's going to stroke out. Well, I wonder if they're related to Tish and Bobo Coleman. Are they from Boston? I don't think so. Well, I think we should go down to South Beach immediately. We should have dinner. You better not eat that. We should have dinner with them. Oh, you nasty Mr. and Mrs. Armin Coleman of Greece. You don't like gay people, but you eat trash? You better work it. Fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust. Fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust. Before you're gone, let's get it on. And he looks so bored. He's chewing gum. Chewing gum helps me think. Sweetie, you're wasting your gum. Let's take it from the bridge. <laughs> Armand, did you see what he just did? Hello, Valley, darling. What did he do? He blew a bubble with his gum while I was singing. He can't do that while I'm singing. The woman who is singing invented you. You are her fantasy. I don't think I get it. Try more gum. Albert. I hear you. <laughs> you are just standing here like an object? No. You do an eclectic celebration of the dance. Fussy, fussy, fussy. You do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham. Or Twyla, Twyla. Or Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd. Or Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. But you keep it all inside. What's he doing? Barbara's father is a senator. He's a conservative senator. And uh, she told him that you were the cultural attache to Greece and Albert was a housewife. What? I don't care who he is. I don't want to be somebody else. Do you want me to be someone else? No, 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 no. Of course not. I mean, I mean neither does she. But he, um. Dead. He's Kevin Keeley. Oh. I'm just saying. If, he, if he's coming to my home. And I can't be me at my home. F him. 
And I'm not marrying him. I'm marrying her. I need your help. Then what does it matter then? Not for this. You've done it before. Well, you're a baby, and Miss Donovan was a small-minded idiot. I didn't want you to get hurt. It's different now. You're a man. I can still get hurt. F*** that. How do you make Albert into a housewife? Well, you'd have to send Albert away for a few days. Are you nuts? You try sending Albert away. We've got to get rid of a few things around here. What things? That, for example. Neptune? That's a classic. Well, how about that? That better? You look like a dick now. It's not just one or two things, okay? I mean, it's everything, <laughs> okay? Brian, why the f*** did you come here? Yes, I wear foundation. Yes, I live with a man. Fuck the senator. I don't give a damn what he thinks. Please stick to those guns. Please. I don't know why you ask, bruh. You just said you're not marrying him. You know what I'm saying? Why would you say f that? If you can't accept my people, you don't need to be here. It's not you they're after, Louise. <gasps> Daddy! I'm just going down the back way. Well, let go of my coat. I'll meet you in the car. Is that Ellie McBeal? Yes, it is. Senator Keeley. Senator Keeley. Senator Keeley. That's what the you get, bitch. You vote. Senator, what's the future of the coalition for more owners now? That's Jada Pickett. Jada Pickett Smith there. Like he's gonna try to act straight in. Like if I was him, I don't think I could do it. Like, cause I'm I'm so unapologetically me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what else to be but me. So I can't switch up for nobody. We've got to get rid of everything that's over the top. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard. I got so much to do now. And like that's like that's so f***ed up. Because Albert loves him so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's so f***ed up. Ah, oh, have I loved the sun? They have to be hot. You know, you could use some more sun. I don't care how breathable that f is. They have to be hot. You look wonderful. Too good to waste indoors. Let's go window shop. No, thank you. I want to go home now. That's nonsense. On a day like this, I'll buy you anything you want. You gotta look like Elton John in them glasses. My shoes. I'll buy you a pair. I have no pets. I'll buy you sandals. Armand! What's going on? Why can't we go home? Oh, nothing, oh. Uh, uh, then I'll see you upstairs. Ah! Oh! What? I, I hurt my thing. Your what? My ankle. Hey, he's trying his best. Don't be such a baby. Just sit down on the... Ah! I do it. I do it. We've been robbed. They'll all be in place by the time you get back. Back? Where am I going? You didn't tell him. What? Tell me what? This is all f***ed up. Val's fiance is coming tonight with her parents. We thought it'd be better if you weren't here. That's so f***ed up. I see. It's just for tonight. I understand. It's just while people are here. It's nothing. It's painful, but it's not important. I'm leaving. He better than a. Hey, he better than me. The freak is leaving. You're safe. I will be there acting extra gay. That went well. Albert. <laughs> Albert. Will you listen? Go away. I hate you. Oh, please, don't cry. It's all right. You can stay. No, I don't want to stay where I'm not wanted, where I can be thrown out on the whims. Exactly. Here, feel my pulse. Am I all right? Oh, my goodness. It's very fast. <gasps> Let's get you out of the sun. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that belt was amazing. Uh -huh. Amazing. This is not because of you. It's because the girl's parents are assholes. Val's crazy about you. Is he? Yeah. Oh, that helps. What did Val should have been the one to tell him? Maybe it is too much to introduce me as his mother on the first visit. Val's uncle, Uncle Al. Oh, what's the point to be Val's gay Uncle Al? 
Oh, I could play it straight. Please, look at you. Look at the way you're holding your glass. Look at your pinky. That's being sophisticated. Pinky's out. I'm saying that means you got class. Of course you can pass as an uncle. We've got five hours. All right, first, get your pinky down. It's up again. Oh. Now, this is a dinner party. Let's work with food. You take your knife and you smear. Men smear. Smear, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get the goddamn oh. pinky down. Oh. Right, make your fingers like iron, all right? Hold the knife boldly in yes. strength. <laughs> oh, God, I pierced the toast. So what? The important thing to remember is not to go to pieces when that happens. No. You have to say to yourself, Albert, you pierced the toast. So what? It's not the end of your life. Try another one. Albert, you pierced the toast. So what? This is about to be the basis. All right, let's try walking. Holding the sandwich? Doesn't matter. Just walk. Down. Hey, man, let me hold this pinky up, man. Oh, you're walking like a delicate flower. That's, that's not an uncle. John Wayne. Oh, God. Couldn't we start with someone easier? Just get off your horse and head into the saloon. Nice touch. He don't walk like that. Howdy, man. I seen one John Wayne movie. He don't walk like that. John Wayne take up space when he walk. He's huge. No good. Actually, it's perfect. Is it? I just never realized John Wayne walked like that. Armand Goldman, you old so and so. How about those dolphins? Al, you old so-and-so. I just said that. Well, now I'm saying it. All right. Oh, straight and tight. And... Hey, Robert Williams is hers. How do you feel about that call today? I mean, the dolphins. Fourth and three play on their 30-yard line with only 34 seconds to go. How do you think I feel? Betrayed? Bewildered? Bewildered. Damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> Right. Ah! <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Swing that by me again. Oh! Hey. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Take it easy. <laughs> you take it easy, pilgrim. Oh. He bumped into me. Tough gazungus. No. Oh, Why are you being such an asshole? Apologize that one. He's huge. Are you calling me an asshole? No, sir. I'm talking to the asshole behind you. Oh. See, the swelling's already gone down. You were magnificent. Marvelous. That big gorilla looked so ridiculous when he sat on you and banged your head on the ground. He didn't even know how to box. What does it sound like he still won? <laughs> um, Dad, could we hire, uh, say, a straight maid for tonight? There are no straight maids in South Beach. Oh, my God. Some more bad news for you. I told Albert he could stay. You did what? Why? Why? Because he told me his heart was breaking and he's my friend and companion. But who will we say he is? Your uncle. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was feeling so good. You know? I just... So I would inst my whole attitude would instantly change. Why don't I just ask your mother? You can't be serious. He has every reason not to. You really think she'd do it? My mother. Oh. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up. That's his mom. Hey, this has got to be better. Why don't I drop you off at a cafe and I'll be back in 15 minutes? Oh, that's all right. I'll come up with you. I'm sure there's a waiting room. Hey, man, they'd be treating him like luggage. Like, let me drop you off. Army Goldman. Katie Archer. My God, I've thought about you so many times. Man, I have never seen her this young. How is he? He's fine. He wants to get married. Married? How old is he? Twenty. Twenty. For the first time, he really needs you. Hey, she a s***, mother. You were so terrified. It was so sweet. I walk into my room and there's a woman in my bed. <laughs> I paid the doorman twenty dollars. 
And I thought, what the hell? Let's try it once with a woman and see what those straight guys are raving about. <laughs> also, the what time? From 2.30 to 3.45 a.m., two times. Two times? Hmm. If you start to feel a tingle and you like remaining single. Hey, I love her. Love is around. But I just, I've never seen her young. Where did all this hair come from? Hmm? Wasn't you just smooth? Much nicer this way. So much more masculine. What you doing? Come on, unbutton your shirt. Oh, please, please I be careful. Let's touch silk. your chest. Uh, hey, bro, she trying to get you to play Halloween. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Miss Archer. I couldn't stop him. Albert. <gasps> You can't tell me he don't look like Elton, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, he left them. She's coming. Oh, God. Thank you. Ah, uh, there, you see? It all worked out. I'm not young. I'm not new. Hey, he's sensitive. I've been thinking that the only solution is to go where nobody is ridiculous, where everyone is equal. You going to cheers? Lisa, I don't want you to go. Oh, I'm leaving you, my stereo. No. My red boots. I don't want. And my wigs. Wish we. I won't need them where I'm going. Hey, the switch up was so mean. You know, I don't want it. <laughs> Wish we. <laughs> hey, he's so extra. <laughs> That's true. You're not young, and you're not new, and you do make people laugh. And me? I'm still with you because you make me laugh. There's only one place in the world I call home, and it's because you're there. See? All right. Now, with this being said right here, I'm not switching up because these mother come to my house. That idiot, Jackson. Now the blacks will start. The blacks. The blacks! Boy. I look like my grandfather in this suit. Dressed like this in every picture. Killed himself when he was 30. Damn. Try not to gesture. Is that all? Okay, don't talk too much. Hey, get the out of my house, bro. I thought he was going to hit the John Wayne walk. I don't like it. Like he's so uncomfortable. I don't like it. What? No good? Why? I'm dressed just the way you are. I took off all my rings. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just a guy. What about those? I mean, he's fashionable, man. He's ahead of the town. Everybody wear pink now. You're thinking, if I dress this way, I'm even more obvious, aren't you? Bro, I'm beat you, bro. When y'all go to dinner, come out short, look like motherfucking Elton John. See my rocket man, rocket man. I don't know no other Elton John song. Oh, take it back. No. Can you feel the love tonight? And that one, John? Don't do that. Little dog don't like that. You both hate me. Oh, God. And hey, he be so extra. We don't hate you. Val might. Better three me right. I work far for them and I told you better three me right. They'll barefoot it. Ah, uh, that's right. Put your shoes on, Agador. It's getting late. Ah, but there's no point in my putting shoes on, sir. I never wear shoes because they make me fall down. Put your shoes on, okay? And talk in your normal voice. And just give me a break, okay? So he will have to get out. I don't care. Albert is hysterical now. Do you know what'll happen if Catherine comes in this house? Nothing. He, he won't embarrass me. She'll make the evening work, Pop. I mean, without her, I'm screwed. You know that. 
Oh boy. Hey. This is hell. And there's a crucifix in it. Listen. I do not like his son. I hate fake people. I'm not religious and I'm Jewish, but if things go well tonight, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh man. And uh, I'm telling you, I hope he come out full Elton. Call me. Oh. Perfect. Oy. He's their shoes. Good evening. I am Spartacus. The gold man's butler. Shut the f up. He's just Marcus. Shall we have some champagne to celebrate? You can't put his leg up. Agador, Spartacus. Agador, Spartacus. He insists on being called by his full name. We'd like the champagne now. Man, why did they get him some shoes to fit? Is someone else home? Just our dog, Piranha. We always lock her in when there's company. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Ooh. I will finish pouring. Go take care of dinner. Hey, look at him. Let <laughs> that, bro. Where could the wife be? Shut the fuck up. Hey, he is turning the club up in there. Virginia has amazing foliage. Although I do think that the foliage in Ohio is underrated. <laughs> <laughs> you should go to Detroit. They have wonderful ghettos. Val, was that mom? Yeah, um, she's stuck, but she'd like us to start dinner without her. Will you excuse me? I, I, I think I should tell Agador Spartacus this news. I've never had so much go so wrong so quickly. This is like a curse. Look at his hair. Let's give her a half an hour, and then, if she isn't... Here I am! Oh, the traffic was unbelievable, Senator Keeley. I'm so happy to meet you at last. It... Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Mrs. Coleman. <laughs> I thought the D was silent. It is pronounced Coleman, isn't it? Oh, yes, Coleman. We don't know where we are until we hear our last name pronounced. <laughs> oh, that explains it. I never expected this. That never. This has never crossed my mind. Oh, oh. So what they gonna do when the um the mama walk in for real? You know, I think homosexuality. A lot more ice for you. Lots more ice, Dad. One of the things that's weakening this country. Really? You know. Oh, this up. <laughs> Thank you, Agador Spartacus. You may go. I've never felt such tension. It's like riding a psychotic horse towards a burning stable. Oh my God, I'm so sorry to laugh at Miss Albert, but what is that hair do? Listen. Fuck. Oh it's one night. I can live through it. Stop the doctors. You'll stop the abortions. Well, that's ridiculous. If you're going to kill someone, kill the mothers. That'll stop them. Let me see you for a moment, dear. Oh. Damn. The fetus is going to be aborted anyway, so why not let it go down with the ship? I really must see you now. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I know one thing about your mother. She's a very passionate woman who follows her heart, and I just love her. Listen. I could have danced all night. I, <laughs> I just wanted to find that. I hope he find out right now. I hope his wig fall off. I only know. Been killing this part. Bravo! That's amazing. You know, I played Eliza in high school. I bet you were lovely. I. <laughs> this is just what I've always dreamed of. A big, loving family gathered around the table, just the way it was when I was a girl. Listen, I cannot wait for the truth to come out. What interesting china. Why, it looks like young men playing leapfrog. Is it Greek? Oh! Oh, they it! I've never seen these bowls before. Really? 
Barbara, get me my glasses, will you, dear? They're in my purse by the chair. Where are my glasses? Oh, they are there. I think that's a girl. Then it's been a long time since you've seen one. That's a boy. Oh. I may need glasses, but I can see that. <laughs> oh, you idiot. You're sitting out there right now looking at the bowls. What kind of moron sets the table without looking at the bowls? Stop ladling. Give me the whole pot. Wow. Just do it. Why'd you get out of the out of that? And wait, wait. What the f is it? Ah, here we go. Some of Agador's superb soup. This is so Guatemala. Chicken is so important to them. A woman is said to be worth her weight in hens, and a man's wealth is measured by the size of his cock. Will you excuse me? Oh, there's some broke people out there. What the hell is sweet and sour peasant soup? I don't know. I made it up. I made it up. Oh, God, this is a nightmare. <clears throat> Listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm one of them people. If I come to your house and eat the food nasty, I'm not going to be polite and eat it. I'm just gonna say I'm full. Don't ask me no questions. I'm full. You didn't make an entree. Why do you think I put so much in it for? Shut up! Here's a note for Catherine. Here's your things to do, and you don't give me no time to jump. Shut up! It's okay. We're all right. It's fine. Just shut up, goddamn you. God damn it. Fuck the shrimp. That's amazing. You think she's gonna drive that way? Catherine, whatever you do, don't go upstairs. I'll call you tomorrow, Armand. This is gonna be great. Well, it's about to go down. Yes, I'm afraid I am a bit naive. <laughs> well, don't be ashamed of Grover's Corners, Mrs. Coleman. Our wig just moved. He comes from such good stock. <laughs> Just like these two adorable youngsters. Don't you agree? Where's the bathroom? Huh? I'll show you. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. I I'd, I'd like Mother Coleman to show me. Something very strange is going on. And I know there is something on those bowls. I know just what's going on. What's going on? She's a small town girl. And he's a pretentious European, the worst kind. Him and he's cold, uh, whatever. And this mother don't like nobody, do we? Well, it just makes me furious. What kind of contempt he has for her. Him, when she was talking, he looked almost frightened. <laughs> he doesn't even let her run the house. Oh, so he likes her. You about to, you about to lose your husband to a man? How you feel? Because y'all don't like homosexuals. They don't make women like that anymore. Uh-oh. Hands up. You must be Senator and Mrs. Keeley. Catherine Goldman. I'm delighted to meet you. It but I was so stuck long in traffic. Barbara wanted to see... What is she doing here? Yes, please do. Explain it to all of us. Exactly how many mothers does your son have? One. Well, technically two. <sighs> this is my mother. My father owns a nightclub downstairs. My mother is the star. What? This is my wife. And do you know how happy that makes me? That this is the lady who had Val. It's nice to meet you, Catherine. He acknowledged her as her as his mother. And not this person that they had with him. That makes me happy. I understand. Barbara? And you was ready to risk it all. I understand. They're both men. You can't be. You can't be Jewish. No. Kevin, 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 this is a man. What? Did he not? They're gay. They own the drag club downstairs. They're two men. Oh, you're slow. <clears throat> Senator Keeley. Show me your wine. Nothing's changed. It's still me. With one tiny difference. Well, not tiny. <laughs> Understand. What the f do you mean? I may not be as vulnerable as Mrs. Coleman, but I still have feelings. Somebody has to like me best. <laughs> I made your mother cry. I'm up for re-election. 
We're in the middle of a scandal. I'm in the home of a gay couple who own a drag club. I realize you want to get married, but how many lives do you have to ruin to do it? Oh, you're not going to put this on me. Senator Keeley. Oh, no. Did you get him? No. I would have if you hadn't said Senator Keeley. I was trying to make him turn. Wait, the elbow. They don't have a thing on you. It's their word against yours that you're even here. At some point, I'll have to leave. People will notice if I'm never seen again. Another television crew, and they're going into the club. Oh. Oh, did he get a dress in drag? Hey, Dad, couldn't the Keeley slip out with the audience at the end of the show? No, oh, they're waiting for that. They'd be recognized in two seconds. Not necessarily. It's about to be amazing. A big hand for our girls, ladies and gentlemen. And as we come to the end of our show, you are family too. Please sing along. I guess it's key to the plot. Hey, he makes a pretty woman. Go, girlfriend. I know, you get excited. I know. I think it's his dress. I told him white would make me look fat. Dance? Don't leave me. Don't leave me here. I don't want to be the only girl not dancing. Here to dance, baby. Meet me in 20 minutes at the corner of El Dorado and Palm. Lady, not for a million dollars. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I'm about to say they better get buried. Which one is the mother? I just don't know. Got fans watching the birdcage. I had an absolute blast with that movie. I'm gonna go listen to some songs here in a minute. I'll rock after them for the rest of the night. I'm I'm glad old dude finally come around to the end, you know what I'm saying? And tell the truth about his parents. And I'm glad the other family realized, I mean, because you know, there's some people out there you help them out. Oh, if Robin Williams and them help help them escape. But, you know, there's some people out there, you help them out, and the first chance they get, once they don't need you no more, they front on you again. You know what I'm saying? They could have easily been like, you know, nah, they ain't getting married because of whatever reasons. I'm I'm really glad he finally was like, yeah, this is my mom, this is my dad. You know what I'm saying? Because his real mom, not the woman that birthed him, his real mom, all she wanted to do was be there for him. That's all she wanted to do. And he was like, well, maybe we ought to send her off for a couple days. But she's locked herself in the room. Maybe she won't come out. I, I, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how much I love you. I don't care how bad I want to marry you. If, if meeting my mother and my father is that much of an embarrassment to you, to where we got to lie about it, to impress your people. They're not the people I want to be related to. I don't care how much I love you. I don't. I'm telling you, no, not never. Never in life would I do that. But I can never ask somebody to do that for me. Um, Old dude, the maid, Butler, he killed his part. I don't know why my man had on them big old elephant shoes. Them shoes were fucking huge. They could have gave him like some um 
from slip ons or something. Robin Williams' wife killed the part. Killed. Robin Williams killed his part. But um, like I said, I, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, this is a movie I will watch on repeat. I hope y'all enjoy watching it with me. Y'all didn't know from me earlier. Please like, subscribe, comment. It really helps out the channel. And honestly, I just love knowing what y'all think about stuff. I love seeing what y'all what movies y'all suggest and stuff. I love talking to y'all. And don't forget to check out the Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, and shout out to the VIPs. I'm gonna give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John, Harold, Becca June, the beautiful dog Missy, the big Al, Robin, Big Frank, Lost Opportunity, aka Crow Crow, Cody Stoudemire, Paul Sawicki, Frost1997, Anna Rondo, Adam, Grady B. Olson, Red Tail Z, TJ Gingler, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., the Brandons, Garrett, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Jenkins, Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer and Natalie, BB98, Chris, Naran, Nick, Coke Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks, Caleb, Steve McCluzo, Echo, and Peanut. Thank y'all for being VIPs. Thank everybody else for being part of the family. Um, our best power of this channel. Tell y'all the time. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all the love and support y'all give us. We can do none of this without y'all. We are forever grateful. So, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night. Hello. 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 Hello.